we pray uh, what God can, uh, wants us to speak to you. Sometimes we tailor made messages for what is happening so that you can be blessed uh, because we, this is our family. Amen. Amen. Like when I have been speaking about Shakaola, I did not hear from God, but I was trying to handle with the what is happening in the moment. Sababu <laughs> 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 answering the prevailing problems. And uh, how I've been teaching about marriages. And I, I, I feel I need to continue with that because we rarely hear such preach, preachings. Such an important message which is rarely preached in the church. Yet 80% of the people that are in the church they are either married or they are looking forward to get married or they were once married. And it's a very important message. But you only hear it maybe once in a year. During the couples meetings. I have purpose to deal with it. There are people that are lucky they went through counseling before they got married. Others found themselves in marriage. They don't even know how they got there. Amen. Amen. And the others are also want to get married and the they may not be here forever. And wherever they go, they may not be able to have somebody who is thinking forward like that. But Amen. he can be able to prepare them for marriage. Amen. Today I'm preaching about having peace, how to have peace and harmony in your family. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews seek peace with all men Na kila mmoja wenu. With all men. Na kila mmoja. Without which nobody will see God. Bila ya haya hakuna mmoja atayaona mungu. Seek peace. Ya kwa mba tafteni amani. It is something you look for. Hii ni kitu unatafuta. It is an intentional uh, step. Ni kitu cha kusudia ama hatua ya kusudia. To our peace. Weza kwa na amani. With all men. Na watu wote. Why do we need to seek peace? Because kwa sababu, where there is no peace, amani, there is no development. Hakuna where there is no peace, amani, there is no prayer. Hakuna maombi where there is no peace, amani, you can't walk by faith. Tembea kwa imani. Where there is no fee, peace, amani, there is no prosperity. Hakuna ufaniki, ufanisi. Because peace is the foundation of everything. Kwa sababu amani ndiyo msingi wa kila kitu. It is peace that holds everything together. Ya kwamba ni amani inayoweka kila kitu pamoja. If there was no peace, kama hakungekuwa na amani in this town today, kama katika mji huu leo, you will not be here. Haungekuwa hapa because you are afraid. Kwa sababu uko na imani. If you found chaos, kama ungepata kuna vita Ungesikia kuna chaos wanachoma tight pale KFA na unatoka huko eh Kiamunyi haungekuja Amen Ungekuwa unasikia wanachoma tight pale Pondamali 
na unatokanga huko nyuma haungekuja ama usikie watu wa Flamingo wameone kwa TV matavs na chomo hapa mbele ya kanisa most of you not be here today wengine wenu hamtakuwa hapa leo amen amen because peace is very important tell somebody peace is very important peace is very important Peace is what? what? Very important. Imani. If it is important to the to a town. Amani ni ya muhimu katika mji. If it is important to a country. Kama ni ya maana kwa nchi. I believe it is important for your marriage. Pia ninaamini ni ya maana ni ya muhimu katika ndoa yako. You cannot raise children. Hauwezi kuweza kufanya kuwalea watoto. In an atmosphere where there is no peace, where there is chaos, there is fighting katika hali ambayo hakuna amani kuna vita na kila aina ya masumbuko ah watoto watakuwa traumatized bwana asifiwe sana amen watakuwa kama wana wasiwasi i was studying uh, an article nilikuwa about nas- teaching children nilikuwa nasoma nas- kitu kuhusu kufundisha watoto wanasema watoto usoma vizuri mahali kuna security where they feel secure mahali ambapo kuna usalama where they feel safe mahali ambapo wanahisi wako salama it is not easy to go and concentrate in the class kama uliacha wazazi wanapigana asubuhi kama wame, ama wamelala wamepigana huyo mtoto unajua watoto hawajajua kama sisi unajua mume huyo mmepigana na bwana yako mmekozana ada akakwambia wewe sio bibi yangu na wewe bado ni bibi yake ada ukamwambia wewe sio bwana yangu hata nimulinioa kibadi tu hata nikipewa nafasi nyingine sio nikakubali wewe hata ukamwambia vitu nyingi but you are still together hiyo ilikuwa tu ni emotional things lakini watoto wakiona mnapigana wanafikiria ni kama ndio mwisho wa familia yao hawajui hiyo ni maisha bwana asiye sana Hawajui watu uko sana hata job. Hawajui watu uko sana hata mtaani. To them wacha wako sana job, wacha watu wako sana mtaani lakini sio mom na dad wakipigana. Wako wameko sana. They cannot imagine that. And to make the matters worse, ni kama mmeokoka. Eh? Waona mom na ameokoka amepiga dad. Dadi ameokoka amepiga ma... anasema wana wanachanganyiko what is wokofu Wokofu ni nini Because without watu wakiwa wameokoka eh wanakuanga wana, wana wanatembea tu wamekumbatiana tu wanapendana hakuna kukosana hakuna nini Bwana asifiwe sana Amen And uh, by the time we realize kwamba these are just things that are part of life that come and go Sometimes the education is affected. Ya kwamba wakati mwingine kabla hawajagundua hapo kwamba haya ni mambo huja na kuenda masomo yao tayari yameadhirika. That's why sometimes we sacrifice things. Na ndio sababu wakati mwingine tunajitolea. We let go some things. Tunaachilia vitu vingine. Because we can see the greater impact. Kwa sababu tunaweza kuona kile kinaweza fanyika. Sometimes you just put down your demands wakati mwingine unaweka chini matarajio yako for the sake of the family kwa ajili ya familia yako because if you hold on to your demand kwa sababu ukishikilia kila ambacho unataka what must be done ya kwamba kila ambacho ni lazima kifanyike ili ukaweza kufurahia to be a man ndio ukwe mwanaume to be the woman of the house ndio ukwe mama wa nyumba sometimes you will become at the expense of your family wakati mwingine utajitoa kwa ajili ya familia yako you will become at the expense of your family wakati mwingine utafanyika kwa ajili ya familia yako yes you ukapoteza the, familia yako you be the lion of, of the house utakuwa ndio wewe ndio simba wa nyumba yes you be the the, the queen the the, every, the woman of the house wewe utakuwa ndio kweli wewe ndio mwanamke mwenye nyumba but you will become that lakini utafanyika hivyo and lose your children, na ukapoteza watoto wako lose your wife, ukapoteza mke wako you lose your husband, ukapoteza mme wako and you are just there na utakuwa tu pale mnaishi kama kanisa ila watu hukua kanisani unajua hata huyo unaketi na labda umjui mimi nasema ni wai kanisa lakini hata labda umjui 
There is no connection. Amen. Hakuna, hakuna you know, it is the connection that makes a family. Somebody say amen. Amen. Do you understand that family is not about be born to be from the same family? It is having connection. Kuna watu muko na connection now. Wagiskia kitu imeku tendekea watatoka Nairobi. Watatoka Kisumu. Lakini kuna ndugu yako wagiskia kitu imeku tendekea atasema atumiwe fea akuje. Eh? Tinikweli? Lakini kuna people who they will borrow money. Kuna watu watatokopa pesa. The, you don't come from the same clan. clan moja. You don't come from the same family. Moja. Same tribe. Kwa moja. But they are part of your family. Lakini wao ni moja wapo ya yako. May the Lord give you such people. Na Mungu awape watu and kama hao. give you many such people. Na Mungu awape watu wengi kama hao. Whom God will use. Ambao Mungu atatumia to answer your prayers kujibu maombi yako to work together with you wakatembe pamoja na wewe in the, in the time of your of your in your low moment katika wakati wako ambao uko chini people who will be touched by what it touches you watu ambao wataguzwa na kile ambacho kinakugusa people will cry together with you watu watakaolia pamoja na wewe work together with you watatembea na wewe hallelujah hallelujah Uh, you know Majua. that's what the bible says sababu bila inasema you are friends and especially the friends of your father marafiki zako na hasa sana marafiki wa baba yako never forsake them usiwaachilie bwana stressa amen because I wish I was speaking to the youth. Sababu natamani ingekuwa naongelesha vijana. Because our marafiki ambao wa dad na wa mom sometimes you don't think they are important. Wengine walichukua loan ili waende secondary. Amen. Wengine ndi walilipa pesa yako ya hata ya kuzaliwa, ulipozaliwa na matani ya pale baba yako hakuwa na pesa maternity miezi sita, tisa iliisha kama ana 3 and you know sometimes it is very important to learn to value the friends kwa friends kuweza kudhamini marafiki zako your wife of your husband marafiki za baba yako the friends of your father Marafiki za baba yako na mama yako because they are somehow extend uh, 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 your mother and uh, your father by extension. Wakati mwingine wao ni kuongezeka kwa baba yako na mama yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Wewe ukaniambia nitaacha mtoto wa 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 Moshe nikutane nimpata mahali ya Costanded. Saa moja nimpate town. Unafikiri nitapita? Si nitasimama. Nimchukue nimpeleke nyumbani. Labda hata ametoroka. Amen. So it is very important to value them. Sometimes you may not understand them. But so long as they are not leading them in the wrong way, it's very important to value them. Wakati mwingine ni muhimu sana kuweza kuwadhamini. And even if you don't love them or you don't like them. Hata kama hawapendi. Because you don't know what keeps them connected with your husband, with your wife with your parents you may not understand but since you are not the one who's in direct relationship with them just pray for them they keep them they pray that god uh, will use their friends to be a blessing to your husband to your wife Baba, and that they will not be used by the devil to destroy your wife to destroy your friend uh, husband to destroy your your children because relationships are very important and they are emotional kwa sababu uhusiano ni wa maana sana na ni ya hisia nyingi kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuheshimu marafiki wa mume wako na mke wako wanaweza kukuokoa mahali kwa sababu we ni bibi ya rafiki yao hiyo tu peke yao amujuani hawana uhusiano sana na wewe lakini kwa sababu wanajua we ni bibi ya rafiki yao wanakupea lift 
kama kulikuwa na chaos unakuwa safe because they are doing it for the, for, the, for, for their friends wanafanya hivyo kwa ajili ya rafiki yao sababu say amen amtu aseme amen hallelujah hallelujah yes wanaweza kukusaidia kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wa rafiki yao wewe ni bwana wa rafiki yao anapiga simu na nimeona nani mahali ni kama ameanguka ame, ame eh nimeona mahali ngali iko na pancha eh you know this is very important yamu, yamu. tell somebody learn to value relationships learn to value relationships amen amen and now if we need to value relationship between people who don't even belong to us kama tunahitaji kufanya kuchukulia umuhimu uhusiano ambao hata watu ambao hawatuhusishi na sisi how important it is itakuwa namna gani ya maana to learn to value kujifunza kudhamini the relationship uhusiano of the people that we live together watu ya watu ambao tunaishi pamoja oh in case you collapse ambao labda siku moja ukaanguka chini They will be the first people to take you to the hospital. Hao ndio watakuwa wa kwanza kupeleka hospitalini. They will be the first people to take you to call the neighbors. Hao ndio watakuwa wa kwanza kuweza kuita kuita majirani. Amen. Amen. I know your husband is not good. Najua, I know your wife is not good. Najua, I know si your children they are not good enough. Najua, but they so don't have to be good enough. Lakini hawahitaji kuwa wazuri kabisa. You can show them how to be good. Unaweza kuwaonyesha jinsi ya kuwa wazuri. Amen. Amen. That is where I begin to teach about my out of peace and harmony in the family. Hapo ndipo naanzia kuhubiri kuhusu jinsi ya kuwa na amani na na na, na upendo katika jamii ama familia. Somebody say amen. Na mtu aseme amina. Hallelujah. Number one. Kitu ya kwanza. The person that you are married to. Huyo mtu ambaye umeolewa ama kuoa ule. The person that you marry. Mtu ambaye umemwoa. That the person is very important. Huyo jam huyo mtu ni wa maana sana. You may not so know so much about them. Unaweza kukosa kujua mambo mengi. But at least there are some things that you need to know about them. Lakini kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo unastahili kujua juu yao. Especially if you are young man asa sana kama wewe ni, ni mtu kijana anaongelesha ngaji watu mkiwa na yeye hivyo mm-hmm. ndivyo atakuongelesha amen anasaidianga watu ni mtu mkarimu umeona akiachia soja pale kitu eh anakuanga shida akitishwa credit anaongea na ni credit ya 50 anasoma anasomea mtu mpaka kwanza for 30 minutes hako aje huyo mtu huyo ndio mtu utaishi na yeye Bwana asiwe sana. Ni mtu wa asida ya haraka ndio ujue kujipanga. Umeona akikasirika anapiganisha kitu chini, hivyo ndio utapiganishwa chini ni kesi. Akoa yeye mtu wako. Amen. Unamwangalia vizuri yeye mtu. Ni mtu wa maombi. Anaongea ngazi juu ya pasta wake. Ni mtu wa kutangatanga kwa makanisa, na maana ni mtu ambaye ana roho ya kutulia. Kwa hivyo hata kukuacha kuwa mandoa yako itakuwa ni rais. Ni roho iko ndani yake ya kutangatanga. Amen. Huyo mtu anaheshimu wazazi kama as, anaongelesa mzazi vibaya ukiwa na yeye. Wewe ni nani? The moment utafungua mdomo wa kumongeleza, utafungwa na kofi. So the person you marry is very very important. Kwa hivyo mtu ambaye umeoa umeoa ni mtu wa maana sana. You need to open your eyes. Unahitaji kufungua macho. You need to listen to your heart. Unahitaji kusikiza roho yako. Ni mrembo yes. Ako na figa kabisa. Tick 80%. Black beauty. Hata kama sio sana ako sawa kazi amejaribu ako na kazi lakini kumbuka hautakuwa umeolewa na urembo hautakuwa umeolewa na kazi hautakuwa umeolewa na pesa you need somebody who has got a feelings for you somebody hako na moyo moyo unakupenda moyo unakudhamini huyo ndio mtu unahitaji sio bibi tu maana kuna mwanamke na kuna bibi chungo usipate mke unapata mume m- m- e- 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 nini usipate mwanamke upate mke m- bwana asifiwe sana amen. amen so huyo mtu ni mtu wa maana sana somebody say amen 
Amen. Proverbs 19. Methali 19. Fast 14. Mstari wa 14. I've been speaking about the dangerous people. Nitakuwa nazungumzia kuhusu watu hatari. Dangerous spouses. Wachumba ama watu wanandoa hatari. That you should never pray to fall into their hands. Ambao unastahili kuomba usiwahi ingia katika mikono yao. Na if they are like that you need to invest in prayer. Na kama wako hivyo na uko pamoja nao unastahili kuingia katika maombi. Proverbs 9:14 says a house uh, No, let's begin with Proverbs 12:4. Maja tuanze na methali 12 mstari 4. Then we come to the 19. Alafu ndo tuingie kwa hiyo mstari ambao tumetoka. The Bible says an excellent wife is the crown of her husband. Bila mke mwenye tabia nzuri ndio taji ya, mme, ya mumewe. But she who causes shame. Bali aibishaye ni, ka, ni kama u... is like rottenness in the bones. Bali abishaye ni kama uozo katika mifupa ya mumewe. An excellent wife is a crown of her husband. Ya kwamba mke mwenye tabia nzuri ni taji la mumewe. But he who causes shame. Bali aibishaye is like rottenness in the bones. Ni kama uozo katika mifupa. So eh uh, when you have the right person they become like your crown. Unapokuwa na mtu aliye sawa ama mzuri kwako anakuwa ni kama ni taji. A sign of success. Ya kwamba ni ishara ya ufanisi. A sign of a good decision. Ni ishara ya uamuzi wa busara. Amen. Amen. So the person you get married to will eventually affect your life. Kwa hivyo yule mtu ambaye unaoa ama kuolewa kwake lazima ataadhiri maisha yako. You cannot separate your life with them. Hauwezi kutenganisha maisha yako na wao. That's why you need to make a good choice. Na ndio sababu ni lazima ufanye uamuzi wenye busara. Proverbs 19 verse 14. Tuingie katika methali wa 19 mstari wa 14. Houses and the riches are an inheritance from fathers. Nyumba na mali huridhiwa kutoka kwa wazazi. But a prudent wife, bali mke mwenye busara, is from the Lord. Kutoka kwa Bwana. Kama kuna watu uhitaji wanahitaji kusoma mambo ya marriage, family, ni wa mama. And I will tell you why. Atakwambia kwa nini? Si kwa sababu ninawaonea. It's because I don't know why everything. Ujini kwa nini kila kitu? Mambo ya ndoa unapata Mungu sana sana anaongea kuhusu wa mama. Mambo mazuri na mambo mabaya. Anasema bibi mbaya ni kama mifupa iliyooza. Mwe kulala na mifupa iliyooza. Wacha mfupa tukale ka nini uzaa tu kanapiga tu hivi ya ulali kadogo tu Bwana asifiwe sana na na mwaje kuongopa siongee na ongea maandiko tena anasema ni bibi mjinga ambaye anafunja nyumba yake amen yani ukisoma proverbs na songs of solomon na kitabu cha eh, muhubiri which he talks about marriage sana they always talk about women tunazungumzia kuhusu wanawake an excellent woman wife is the crown of her husband mwanamke mwenye tabia nzuri ni kama taji la mumewe amen amen so a wife has got a bigger responsibility kwa hivyo mke ako na wajibu mkubwa to make the family the marriage work kufanya hiyo ndoa ama familia ikafanya kazi Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, so the Bible says, a woman or a man who causes shame. A partner who causes shame. Bila inasema yule ambaye ni mwanandoa ambaye analeta aibu. Unajua kuna watu hawana heshima. Anaweza kuja kupata na wamama wenzako, mnaongea kwa sababu mlikosana, anakuja anaanza kukupiga na kutandika. Yaani anakuaibisha mbele ya marafiki zako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna wamama wengine nao anaweza kuja pale na hata anakuja pale ofisini, ana cause drama ama anakuja pale nyumbani anakuta mlikuwa mmechoma nyama zenu na wazee wako mnachoma hata nyama pale mnakaa chini anauliza nani amemwambia mchome nyama yangu nani amewaleta hapa anaangusha hizo nyok anaweka kwa anaweka mchanga nyama anasema mnakula kama nani these things are real hello kuna wamama wana heshima kuna wazee wana heshima anaweza kukuaibisha kabisa mbele ya watu mpaka unashindwa unalia baka watu anakuambia mama na nini tulia tu usijali na kuanga hivyo lakini wanashangaa wakifika wa, mkiachana ndio kitu ya kwanza kuulizana jameni huyo mama si lazima ameumia kama anakuanga na huyo mtu amen so make sure that you protect your family don't bring shame in your Haki, family hakikisha kwamba umelinda familia yako usilete aibu number 2 ya pili dangerous spouses watu ambao ni hatari ambao omba Mungu akusaidie First Timothy chapter of Timotheo 5 verse 8 Timotheo wa kwanza mlango wa 5 mstari wa 8 Men who does not provide for their family wanaume wasiotoa kwa ajili ya familia zao kama hauna pesa badala ya kuleta kisirani na kupiga watu na kupiga kelele Ambia mke wako na watoto wangu mniombe. Hiyo mambo mnasema ningetamani kuwafanyia. Lakini mniombe mapato iongezeke. Bwana asifiwe. Sio kisirani. Watoto hapo ndio kwao. Bibi hapo ndio kwake. Angependa kupiga chapati kila siku. Angependa kupiga nyama kila siku. Mwambie mami na hiyo ungependa lakini unajua tu mapato yangu. Kimuniombe tu hata mimi ningetamani nyumba yangu kuwa kuna nuka nyama. Uniombe tu. Bwana asifiwe. It is very dangerous to have a spouse who doesn't provide. What does the Bible say? Ni hatari sana kuwa na But if, if, if anyone does not provide for his own. Kama mtu hawatunzi wale wa jamaa yake. Especially those of his household asa wale wa nyumbani mwake he has denied the faith ameikana imani and is worse than an unbeliever tena ni mbaya kuliko asiamini i know hello men kila wakati naambia wanaume kama ushakuwa mwanaume wewe mwenyewe ulienda kutafuta shida ukachukua msichana wa mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe ukazaa watoto bas it is your responsibility kwa hivyo ni wajibu wako iwe ni kuvuruta mkokoteni vuruta iwe ni kuenda kukujaza lori kwa kwa mchanga kule kaptembwa enda hauna choice hauna mahali pa kutorokea hakuna ndio unakutaka kanisa mara nyingi hazina wanaume unafikiri ni kwa nini wanatafuta wao unafikiri anga wapeni Mungu ndio anatafuta wengine za hii wako mahali wanatafuta maana wewe unajua wewe kazi yako ni kusema na baba jo, baba toyu hujaacha pesa ya, ya chakula na tunataka kupika ha? so mwanaume ni responsibility ni jukumu bwana asifiwe sana mwanaume tusio kuvaa tu mwanaume sio sauti nzito tu hapana mwanaume ni ku take responsibility at your level bwana asifiwe sana na usikubali mtu akusukume waambie hii ni nyumba yangu kama hauna pesa za kupeleka watoto private ambao kinananiwa na peleka na kinananiwa na peleka na kinananiwa na peleka wewe peleka wako mahali ambao unaweza lipa maana wakifukuzwa atafukuzwa kama mtoto wako bwana asifiwe sana hakikisha watu wako wafinyili lakini mnakula at your ability Mshukule nyama, 
na chapati na nyumba ifungwe. Amen. Yes, hakikisha kama mzee umekata NHIF. Sometimes mtoto anagonjeka na una pesa. Don't just be a bad mtu pale tu hivi tu. Mtu ameokoka tu mtu wa Mungu. Hapana. Kuna responsibility kama umeketi karibu na mwanamume umwambie responsibility ndio kazi yetu. Responsibility even of our wives they are our responsibility. Hata wake zetu ni wajibu wetu. Ndio maana kilipo umana Mungu hakuenda kuuliza Eve alitafuta Adam. Adam, Adam alikuwa anaita Adam. Adam, Adam uko wapi? Mamba kusema ni nyoka Mungu hakuwa na hiyo shughuli. Nyoka ilikujaji kwa bibi yako. Huh? In the first place nyoka ilikujaji. Ilikujaji kwa shamba. Mimi nilikupatia shamba na nikakuweka pale na bibi yako. Nyoka alikuja kufanya nini? It was your responsibility. Kwa ni wajibu wako. Ulianza kuongelesha nyoka, hadi naongopa nyoka, nisiwe kiumbe cha Mungu, umeachana ume na nyoka, imeharibu sasa. Hungestahili kuchukua mawe, hungechukueni kuchukua nyundo, hungestahili kukatakata hiyo nyoka. Sasa wewe uliacha nyoka imeharibu nyumba, labu naanza kusema ni bibi. Bibi ameingilia wapi? Bibi is your responsibility. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Amen. So kuna vitu you don't even allow in your family by force by fire huo umeokoka kama hujaokoka mulie musilie museme nimeokoka sijaokoka hiyo ni shauri yenu mimi nimesema hii stack na itafanyika hapa <laughs> tumemalizana nashukuru Mungu na ubiri kama mmoja wao ameketi hapa hakuna <laughs> wataruka chini Tandram, zakila haina everything, but they don't care. Amen. Because you are responsible. At the end of the day, watasema huyu, wala watoto. Najua awasamangi, watasamanga tu yule bibia, mutua. Wala watoto wa, mutua. Hakuna mali anatajwa. Hakuna mali wanatajwa. kila mwanaume lazima aweze kuwa anatunza nyumba yake Bwana alitupatia kutunza shamba na kutunza kila kitu kwa hiyo shamba Sema amen Amen Number three. Kumbuka he said vile mtu naoa matters a lot Amen a man who is scared of the success of his wife. Mtu mwanaume ambaye anaogopa ufanisi wa mke wake. Asia ukisema ati mimi siwezi kaenda kujenga kwa plot ya bibi. Ati mimi siwezi kaenda kukaa kwa nyumba ya mme na bibi. Na mbona unakulanga ile chakula anapikanga? Tujipikie yako. Sini bibi yako. Hiyo plot sini yake. Sini hiyo bibi ni wako na hiyo plot ni yake ni wako ni yako hiyo gari ni yako kila kitu ndani yake ni yako hata hiyo pesa ambayo ameficha anatoanga wakati ambao kimeumana anazamanga zote na pesa bado ni yako ndio maana inatokanga wakati kimeumana so acha na acha na nayo tu siku moja unajua itatokea tu hiyo pesa imeficha ni wewe umefichiwa tu eh Kitaomana tu usikie na niko na kaelfu hapa na ujikumbuke kunirudishia. <laughs> Mambo ya kurudisha hiyo ni story nyingine lakini sasa leta elfu. Amen. Never be scared by the success of your wife. Usiwahi ogopa ufanisi wa mke wako. She is your wife. Yeye ni mke wako. She is your crown. Yeye ni taji lako. Wako nasema huyu jamaa anajua bibi yake ni principal. She is your crown. Yeye ni taji lako. Why are you scared? Ogopa nini? Bwana asiye sana. Amen. You should pray that God gives you a wife, a husband who is well to do. Unastahili kuomba Mungu akupe mume ama mke ambaye ako na kitu ya kufanya. Mimi ninawaombeanga na ninaombeanga pia watoto wangu kwamba Mungu awapatie mabwana walio na pesa 
Apatie mabwana wanaomongopa Mungu, awapatie mabwana ambao watawasaidia, watawaelewa, awapatie mabwana na mabibi waina hiyo because eh, nani hataki kuwa father in law wa rais Ya? Bwana asiye sana. Ningekuwa father in law wa rais. Sahi ningekuwa na maaskari nikiubidi wameketi pale. Father in law asija kaumia. Paka huko na plane close tu. Bwana asifiwe. Siku ile anakuja kunitembelea anasema anataka kuona kaka tuna mama lazima asukume. Aseme tuende tukaone ndadi. Siku ile anakuja motorcade inasimama hapa unafikiri hapa hapa atakuwa na nafasi ya kutosha ibada itakuwa kwa stadium Hello Governor kija hapa leo almost all the MCs watakuwa hapa Si ni kweli MP wetu atakuwa hapa Ma chief of staff na wale watu wengine wa kujipendekeza la lazima ujipendekeze kwa mkubwa watakuwa hapa Unafikiri siku hiyo kutakuwa aje? Kanisa imeja? Eh? Na mambo mengine itakuwa pia mzuri, si ndio? Haleluya. <laughs> usione uoga, usione wivu. Bibi yako, mzee wako, usione wivu. Haleluya. Glory to God. Tukufuku My grandma used to teach us hata kama una gari gari ya jirani ni yenu mkingojeka saa sita usiku hawataenda town watahamisha neighbor upendeke hospitali amen is that true yeah so even your neighbor pray for your neighbors hata majirani yako waongee wish them well watakikie mema wakinunua gari shukuru mungu acha kuanza kusema akiingia kwa gate unajifanya uone gari yake hata ukikutana naye unajifanya uone gari yake msalimie na hata kukupata kama kuna nyesha unangangana na miguu yako route 11 anakuambia baba nani ingia wivu ya nini bwana asifiwe number 3 four number 4 a spouse without empathy mwanandoa anaweza kuwa na mzee kama mke uko pale unaumia na yeye ana shughuli agopa kiangalia Maria Santa Maria Mana unasikia na umekunywa maji sienda uchukue maji pale ukuchota maji pale e, kuna kitu sitaki kuacha hapa e, na kuna ndawa simuniletee ndawa ndawa tutakuletea jioni wacha kuna kitu hapa umeikuwa na mtu ana huruma ana empathy mtu ambaye ana akusikilizi Eh anaweza kupata mtu tu mahali ni mgonjwa na ampite. Apata uko pale na unakaa ni kama umelala au una raa ama ukuje kwa nyumba anaona una raa na akulizi kwani kuna nini? Yeye anaingia kwa nyumba. Yeye anakuchukua chakula na kula like nothing has happened na anaenda kulala. Ukawa na mtu kama huyo my friend. Unahitaji Mungu. You need to have something called empathy. Unahitaji kuwa na huruma. Amen. Amen. Be concerned about your husband. Wow. Be concerned about you. Waje kusema nilijua na bado shetani hajamalizana na wewe. <laughs> Bwana yako. <laughs> Bibi yako. <laughs> Unasema shetani bado hajamalizana na wewe. Siombe shetani amalizane na yeye mara moja. Hai. My friend. Are you serious? Unajua the fact ya kwamba shetani hajamalizana na wewe it me, na yeye it means you are not safe. Pesa yenu haiko safe. Bwana asiye sana. Ndoa yenu haiko safe. Si uombe shetani aachane na huyo mtu. Bala kusema atajamalizana na yeye. Utafaidika na nini kama anaendelea kuwa na yeye? Lazima mwe mtu kuwa na huruma, kuwa na mtu wa huruma. Yes. Because and No matter what he did to you don't kuna mahali pa kukasiri kukosewa na kuna tofauti I know you know mama they mix everything Ukimkosea chakula mtakula kuku zitaumia umba zitachapa viboko 
Watoto watafuruta masikio. Everything, everybody now becomes a victim. Wa mama tuachene. Iyo ni fitu sinaharibu nyumba zetu. Let us learn to separate the issues. Bwana suwe sana. Amen. Pika na baada ujakula. Umambia baada ujamalizana. Kuna kitu lazima uniambia. Waja akule vizuri. Waja mama akule. Waja mzee akule. Waja watoto akule. Na baada ya hiyo unawambia nini? Kuna kitu lazima tufanya nini? Tuonge. Lakini siyo kila kitu. Kila kitu imeadibiwa. Wata hewa imeadibikiwa. Number five. A spouse who prefers their family over you. Mwanandoa ambaye anaweka familia yake juu yako. A spouse who prefers their family. Mtu ambaye anaweka familia yao ya kuzaliwa juu yako. They forget that. Your brothers have got their own family, isn't it? Wanasahau mandugu zao wako na familia zao. Amen. Amen. Your sisters have got their own families. They are married to their own husbands. Madada zao wako na familia zao. Kwa hivyo usisahau kwamba ijapokuwa ni kweli mumetoa kwa nyumba moja, but you should never sacrifice your husband, your wife ati kusema ati kwa sababu ya ndugu yangu, dada yangu, kumbuka huyo ndugu yako wako na bibi yake na nyumba yake. Kumbuka huyo huyo bibi yake yako ako na nyumba yake na mzee wake. Amen. Na nyinyi muko hapa amuna amani, amukuli, amuongeleshani kwa sababu ya watu wamelala wamekeleana miguu. <laughs> Halo, wanacheka, wana watch TV, baby, niletee hii. Darling, unataka aji? Na wewe sasa uko pale mmekosana na bibi yako kwa sababu yeye anaitwa babe, yeye anaitwa dali. Nyinyi muko pala hata hata muitani hata muitani tu hata uitu jina unaitwa kimutu kimutu <laughs> kimwanamke Amen You must know that your family comes first Baada kujua familia yako inakuja ikiwa ya kwanza Because everybody your brother your sisters their family comes first Sababu hata ndugu zako familia yao ni ya kwanza kwa So usiwe ni wewe utumie akili you know our family, yeah, it's okay, but you can help everything, but my family comes first. Comes first. Awana baba mwingine, ni mimi. Awana buwana mwingine, ni mimi. At least your sister kuna buwana. At least your toto wa, your toto wa, wa sister yako, wa kuna baba. Wangu, ni mimi tu peke yangu. So long as I'm there. So I must give them the first preference. Lazima ni wape na fasi ya kwanza. Hata mba andiku enasema kwamba na niya likuwa na wakota the crumbs. Lazarus. A yesu, mama moja kakuja kusema kwamba anataka kupewa nini? Aponyo na yesu. Yesu wale muambia nini? Mukata ni anani? Ni ya watoto. Amen. Ya mkate kwanza ni ya watoto. Then ikibaki. Then the genders you can have it. So somebody your family should always come first. Family always come first. Should always come first. Your family first. Family yako kwanza. Number six. Ya sita. Yeah, and you should be able to defend. Because many times you have... Unajua... Unajua, let me tell you the truth. The naked truth. I don't see how Mama Jack is a man. And in a shukuru, Sasa ni meletewa, Kijana mwingine, Sasa, Nilikuwa na kijana moja, Sasa ni meongezewa ingini, Karibo danson, Karibo nini. The truth of the matter is, There is no way danson huyo, Anadakuwa ikuo, Kwake, na huyo musiana wake na kijana wake. Lazima tukubali hiyo. Hiyo maana kuna kuanga na shida ya mother in law na ma whatever in laws. Because kusema kweli hii ni mti umefanya ku grafted. Bwana asiwe sana. So sometimes as a, as a woman and as the as the as the, the son in law some things you just need to accept. 
na wache ku cause a lot of drama zina maana there is no way you can be there real 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 hata angekuwa amepewa nafasi mbili watu wanaulewa kadikati ya ukijana yako na huyo bwana yake nani auliwe nisema mama nizizeme atasema msichana wake auliwa kwa sababu amelewa na wewe Just use common sense. Sasa kutumia example ya mtu sisi siharibu nyumba za watu. Lakini sasa ni kijana hapa na msichana hapa wameoana. Sawa? Umekuja umeambiwa hapa lazima uamue mmoja afanye nini? Aende. Do I need to be a rocket scientist to know the choice you will make? Utapeana msichana wako? kijana yako so ni vizuri ukubali kwamba umekaribishwa tu umepokelewa tu wewe ni ni umekuwa adopted the truth of the matter is that kwa hivyo kuna mambo mengine utakuwa unaona unachengwa mengine ni kama uhusishwi mengine ni kama yani utambulika kuna tumadharau utaona tungine tumadharau kwa sababu hata wengine wanafikiria ni kama wewe sasa huyo ndugu yao ambao ni accountant eh, anapandanga 1500 mshahara kama sio wewe angekuwa anapatanga 100 hapo. Wewe umezuilia. Bwana asifiwe sana. So as a husband as a wife you should know that you should always defend your husband and your wife. Kama mwanamke ama mume Even if they are wrong. Hata kama wao ni wabaya. Defend them. Uhakikisha umewatetea. Mkirudi nyumbani ama mkenda bedroom. Mulize baba toi na nini nilikuwa nimekupanda wewe Nini nakusumbua <laughs> Wewe wewe unatuaibisha Mbona umeongea hivyo mbele ya watu Yaani sio kusema ati ukisimama ati mimi hiyo mzee amezama sio kweli lakini sasa hiyo mama amezama ninakataa sio kweli hapana Sasa umeine ile tulisema kwamba don't be a spouse who causes what shame Sikuwa mtu ambaye analeta aibu Amen Amen. Kila mtu ataenda kwa nyumba yake. No matter what your husband said, what your wife said, kila mtu anaenda kwa nyumba yake. Wewe utaenda wapi kama mmeacha mmekosana hapa? Hata ngari yenyewe mnajinda kuingia pamoja, matatu kila mtu ataingia matatu yake. Kufika kwa nyumba ni stress. Don't please people to destroy your family. Usiwafurahishe watu kuharibu familia yako. That is the only family you have. Hiyo ndio familia pekee uliyonayo. You are the number one custodian. Wewe ndio mtu wa kwanza mlinzi. Somebody say amen. Amen. So learn to defend your spouse Wewe even jifunze, when they are wrong. Jifunze. They don't have to be right, but when before people they are always right. Jifunze kutetea mtu wako hata kama wako. Na hata kama wameharibu mambo kabisa nyamaza. Amen. Hiyo mtu anaweza kumesi kiasi ya kwamba hataweza kwa unashindwa kuutanzia hapi kumtetea <laughs> lakini nyamaza ukisimama tafuta point nyingine ya kuongea but if you can defend them kama unaweza watetee then mkienda nyumbani mkienda bedroom mkienda wapi waambie bana unachoma my friend unachoma hii mambo unafanya sio mzu lakini maana If you teach people vile una, unafundisha watu kuhusu bwana yako na bibi yako ndivyo wanamchukulia. Amen. Ukiwaonyesha he is irresponsible, good for nothing husband, wife, all those things that is not the picture. Hiyo ndio macho mama yako bwana uh, ndugu zako wanayo, wanakuwa nayo sasa. Ndio maana wanaanza madharau. Bwana yako alikuwa na shida ya pesa, alikuwa amekoniwa, alikuwa amemismanage, I don't know what na sasa ukakataa kumsaidia kuzomesha watoto ukalipa nyumba alafu aje mambo Mungu afungue njia abarikiwe utakuwa unaona aibu utaki hiyo topic a man or a woman who cannot sacrifice for you mtu ambaye hawezi jitoa kwa ajili yako cannot risk for you 
Hawezi kujatarisha kwa ajili yako. They say in the world a man who can easily throw you under the bus. Wanasema katika dunia yule mtu ambaye anaweza kuachilia kwa urahisi. Mimi simjui. Hiyo sauri yake, hiyo mambo yake. Mimi msiniingize. Maandiko yanasema kwamba Sara aliambiwa na nani na Abraham. Hapa sema mimi ni ndugu yako. Sasa itabidi udanganye kwa ajili yangu. Ninajua umeokoka lakini hapa lazima sasa udanganye kwa ajili yangu. Akasema huyu ni ndugu yangu. Yeye ndio mkubwa mimi ndo namfuata. Baba yetu alikufa na tumekuja kutembea huku kutafuta chakula. Kuna wokofu na kuna ujinga. Mwambie mtu kuna wokofu na kuna ujinga. Tofautisha the two wokofu na ujinga. Shida ya watu wa kuokoka ile mingi yao uanganiwe la ujinga. Yeah. Na Mungu anasema ametupatia roho wa sound mind. I don't know hiyo inatokanga wapi. Namba got tunamalizia. You must learn to sacrifice for your partner. Sacrifice. That is marriage. That is family. Sacrifice. Family is sacrifice. Laying down what you have put yako. Yes, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Going without shoes watoto wasome. That is sacrifice. Bwana azifiwe. Amen. Yes, sacrifice. If you cannot sacrifice, you don't ready for marriage. Kama hauko tayari kujitolea, hauko tayari kwa ndoa. One who cannot cover your nakedness. Yule ambaye hawezi funika uchi wako. Mpaka anaenda kukusengenya na wamama, anaenda kukusengenya na wazee, anaenda kukusengenya mpaka ukitokea watu na kuangalia ukitembea wanakuona tu you are just they wana wanaona ukiongea hata hawakusikizi. Because of what they have been told by your husband and by your wife Sabi about kila, you. Kwa sababu ya kile ambacho ameambiwa na mume wako ama mke wako. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You love you must learn to cover your the nakedness of your husband and your wife. It Lazi. is only you who can correct your husband and your wife. Kuambia watu waisaidii na ita mbadilisha. It is only you to sit down with him or with her and tell her tell him this you are doing is not good but kutuambia kuenda kuambia watu kumshaambia hiyo aisaidii hiyo inawaleta aibu zaidi mtu aseme amen amen sema kwa niamba ya jirani yako kama hataki kusema sema amen mbili amen amen somebody who doesn't accept responsibility or i mean take us accept Thoughts. Mtu apologize ambaye, or take responsibility for what they have done. Mtu ambaye hakubali makosa ama kuchukua waji kwa kila ambacho amefanya. Umoika na mtu ambaye hakubali makosa. Kapita. Hata maji mwagike. Atasema wewe ndio ulikuwa umeweka sufuria vibaya. Ndio maana nikapitia nikagonga ikaanguka. You know you must learn to take responsibility. It does mean that you are a failure. It just means that you are honest, you are sincere, you are real. Inamaanisha kwamba wewe una wewe wewe uko na responsibility. Watu wengi ujifanya wanakuwa wakali. Ndio wasiulizwe kitu. Anakuwa mkali. Anaingia kwa nyumba kama amekunja uso ndio wasiulizwe umetoka wapi saa hii? Ako mkali mpaka uh, anaanza ana, ana, ana kuuliza ana, ku, kutafuta shida ziko ndio waziulizwe kitu na hii nyumba hii nyumba hii nyumba mnaacha stima zinawaka saa yote sasa ana ataki kuuliza mambo ya chakula anakuwa mkali mpaka sasa unaongopa utaanzia wapi kumuitisha pesa ya chakula yes, take responsibility take responsibility it can happen to anybody doesn't mean that you are that bad. Imanishwe ni mbaya zaidi. Take responsibility. Chukua waji. I am sorry. Pole. It just happened. Ilipo I see kufikiria. Sikuwa nimewaza hivyo. Sikuwa nimeona hivyo. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You are still the husband. We bado ndio mke wake. You are still the wife. We bado ndio mke wake. But you have shown leadership. Kina maonyesha uongozi. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. A spouse who doesn't take responsibility or doesn't apologize. Unajua kuna watu hata wakikukosea hawatasema pole. Utabidi useme pole yako na yake. Ha? Mwambie mtu kusema pole ikati haikukati mali. Nasema mwambie jirani yako kusema pole haikukati mali. Si mwambie mtu kusema kusema pole. Kusema pole. Aija kuondoa, aija kukata pole ni pole pole ni kawaida, pole ni kawaida. Pole ni ya kila mtu. Chida ni we don't like apologizing to our husband, to our wives, but kula kazini tunajua kusema pole mara moja. I'm telling you, hata mtu wa mjui ameanguka tu, maana eh hey, mama pole, bibi yako ameanguka tu mwambie pole. Mtu mjui pale, pole hai pole pole. Hata unakimbia kumwangusha, kumwamsha. Mbwe bwana yako anasema tikagwe amanye kana goma ni jo ni kokwe goma. Tikagwe. Eh? Eh? Wacha anguka vunjike ndo ajue shetani ana mchezo. <laughs> Lakini ukiona mtu ameanguka pale, hata kama ni mlevi, hata kama ni mtu ujui, utakuwa na huruma. Si kweli? How comes mtu anakupikia chakula? Mtu amekupea watoto. Mtu anaku muna, anakulinda. Mtu mnalala na he. Mtu ana anahakikisha mlango imefungwa ndio waizi wakija wakupate, wakuue. Mtu ambaye, yeah, ni mtu ambaye ni mtu wako. You don't have feelings unless shetani aliweka moyo wa mnyama ndani yako. How comes you're not concerned about your husband, about your wife? Na unasema raba ka baba 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 la baba 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 baka satu kasatu raka satu raka satu ruka satu raka sata Wachana na hiyo kwanza wachana na hiyo Hiyo ni ya mbinguni atuko shua hata unasema nini <laughs> Mtu ako hapa kwa nanja na unasema raka sata raka sata raka sata hapana Amen Lazima tuwe watu ambao watu watapenda wokofu kwa ajili yetu. Ndio maana Paulo na Petelo anawaambia wamama, "Urembo wenu usiwe wa mafuta, wa, wa vipuli. Urembo wenu usiwe wa nywele." Unajua watu wanatumia hiyo maandiko vibaya. Alikuwa anawaambia, "Wacha urembo wenu kwanza uwe wa roho, uwe rooni." Bwana asiye sana. They say beauty ya moyo doesn't fade away lakini urembo ita fade away but a good art with all is a good art anasema tuanza kabla ujaenda kuhubiri ujaenda kuimba hujakuja hapa kanisani hujaanza rabaka sata shetani na kufunga hujakemea shetani moyo wako moyo wako moyo wako that's why he says the first commandment love god with all your heart the second thing anasema nini Love your neighbor. Ukitia pila anasema penda jirani yako. The most important relationship as far as God is concerned is two. Yako na Mungu na yako na watu. Ndio akasema ukama umekuja kutoa sandaka na umekumbuka kuna mahali mmekosana na ndugu yako, wacha sandaka kwanza. Nenda muzuluishe mambo yenu, ukuje kutoa sandaka. That is how God values relationship. Hivyo ndio Mungu anadhamini uhusiano. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. There are people who can break, destroy lives, destroy families, destroy marriages just because of a church. Kuna watu ambao wanaweza haribu familia, ndoa zao kwa ajili tu ya kanisa. Just because of the pastor. Kwa ajili tu ya mchungaji. Ana zao pastor kwa na bibi yake. <laughs> Amen tutengeneze mambo yetu nyumbani kwanza sema amen tutengeneze mambo yetu nyumbani wapi kwanza is important hakuna haja utoke hapa umeruka ruka nimekuombea umeanguka na umefika pale nyumbani sasa ufurahi yote hauna hapana jamen tutengeneze nyumbani kwanza bwana asifiwe sana amen kuwa mtu ambaye eh, what was the point kubali makosa yako 
learn to say sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. That is the word you should say all the time. Yesu alisema, sema hata Yesu alitupatia tuseme watu wamepea watu kuomba msamaha mara mia, almost mia tano. Four, four, is it four forty nine? Uh, seven, seven, four, 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 four ninety times a day. I win yes. I am going to win yes. Yes. People that physically or emotionally abuse you. What about when I go? My God, I'm trying to go to another country. I'm not going to get a key to your Kukata. When I'm in a gun, you don't care about. Mwanaume wa troza tu ameshindwa na nyumba yake Why why can you use good words to say what you have said Yes you are right but you are using the wrong words Baba nani wewe unajua anga wewe ndio baba yetu Unajua ni wewe tunakuangalia unajua ni wewe tu wa watoto ni wako Si ufanye kitu wasome Yeye ni mbeta kumwambia mwanaume wewe ni mwanaume wa troza tu. Eh? Bwana asiye sana. Watu ambao wanaharibu pesa ama mali ya familia. Kuji, kujipendekeza huko nje. Watu wanakula nyama. Eh, mko pale mnakula nyama na pombe. Mnakula eh, eh, choma. Eh labu wa mama anapiga simu anasema eh huko wapi Anasema ah niko hospitali Nimelazwa huko wapi tuje tukuone hapa hawataki watu hawataki watu watembelewe <laughs> Your family first Unafurahisha marafiki wako na familia zao Labda familia zao zimekula watoto wao wamekula wao well, mnakula pesa yako na marafiki na familia yako wako njaa Don't waste the resources Bwana asifiwe Hiyo pesa mzee wako ni yako Sio yake ni yako ni yenu Amen Don't use because it's there asema unajua kuna wamama wanajiwekeanga vitu wanasema wanunuliwa tanaza sema nilio speaka kama yeye kuweka nyumbani asikizange TV and TV nayo anasema acha nitumie maana ni support me sitatumiwa anachukua manguo anaweka mwele anachukua viatu anachukua nini yani anasema wacha nitumie yani hata sio vitu za kusaidia wacha nitumie ndio isitumike vibaya yani pesa yako si umuketishe chini bala kutumia hivyo na bado ni hasara ni nyumba yenu si umuketishe chini mwambie mimi naona hii mambo pesa si tuanze kulipa ka plot mahali bwana asifiwe sana ya yeah, si si tuanze kununua kashamba huko nyumbani hii pesa naona ni kama sikuizi Mungu amekuonekania. Pesa ni nyingi usimwambie unaharibu maana utaharibu. Mungu amekuonekania. Si wewe tununue ka kitu tu. Tununue ka kitu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Situweke kwa sako ka kitu. Ikiongezeka tutachukua tununue kitu. Don't be a waste. The Bible says that he that is a he that uh, is 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 that is a waster is a brother to who, to him who destroys and you know who is the one who destroys the devil the time nimebakisha mbili tu nimalize dangerous spouses watu watari somebody who has not been healed mtu ambaye hajapona it doesn't matter what you went through when you were growing up in Haj- your first marriage hajalishi kile ambacho ulipitia ukikuwa ama kwa ndoa yako ya kwanza don't bring those things in your new marriage. Don't bring those things in your family. Things have become new. Vitu zimefanyika mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usikuwe saa yote uko choncho. Mtu akikusema kitu, unaongopa, unainuka kwa sababu ya tezi hii ulilelewa vibaya, uliteseka. Hiyo iliisha, mwambie Mungu akupe neema za kushinda hiyo roho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Maana ndoa nyingi zinavunjikanga kwa sababu ya mambo ya kitambo. Because you, you, you grew with your father and your mother. Your father used to abuse your mother. Eh, uliona kimchapa. Sasa unafikia kila mwanaume ni wakuchapa. Ni chape uone. 
ni chape wone. Some other you always demand it to be chap what? Ni chape wone, ni chape wone. Huh? You don't have to, you don't have to. Forget about the past. Bwana swesa, hiyo ulipitia, ulipitia, wala wala kudharao, sasa, mungu wa mekubariki, you are a new creation, you are a new person, you are a blessed person. Hiyo mamba ulipitia yote, wachana na yu uko. There are people who have got very fragile ego. Na mutaje tu kidogo tu, kumambia mbano wajakuja mbila tai, amekasirika. Hata na haja microphone, hata sasa anasema hiyo kanisa sita kuja tena. Bishop amenebisha mbele ya watu, ameniambia nilikuwa mbele nini tukianza. Wajana na ujinga windapret. Sasa hiyo. Sasa hiyo hata nasema. Ibada hata nime, leo nime, nisina amani. Unenda nyumbani kama amani. Kwa bibi yako. Na hiyo maandiko nasema alikujanga kama amekazirika. Kwa kamulisa what has happened. Ambia. Uyu hile kimutu kina etonga mondekai. Leo nime kiambi wati nikipalisha mini. Guo. Eh. Don't be like that. Wana swe sana. Life is not a matter of life and death. Maisha siya ya kwamba ya sasa diyo mwisho. It is not a matter of life and death. Wengine wendi mulifutu wa kasi. Ukawa meona stars. Si ulipata kasi. Si leo kona kasi. Ame? Mzee si ulifunga. Teke mbio ulikuwa, mili kwa kasi tamo wako. Na maisha ilisimama. Si mungu alifungua jia zingine. Amen. Life is not about life and death. Mulanga ukifunguka, mungini utafunguka. Ukifungwa, mungini utafunguka. Have positive attitude towards life. Na wate kuwa na makasiriko, na maasira. Unakuja umetukasirikia, maana ujakula, kuwa ni sindo ukupianga chakula. Unatua makasiriko nyumbani, unapeteka job, unafutua kazi. Hello? Mwambia mtu relax. Relax. Sometimes maisha ni kama kidonda. Inajiponya enyewe tu. Amen. Unapona tu peke yake tu. Inapona. Lakini ekipona lazima kuwa kulikuwa na uchungu. So, be healed. Be what? Healed. Be healed. Kapate uponyaji. Uliacho na boyfriend. Be healed. Be healed. Hata kushini ukichukia wanaome wata. Na ukiona ndoa, arusi ikifanyika, unamahasira, unalaani. Awendi kwa harusi. Hata ujalikuwa unasema mimi mbusini. Mimi sita kuja kwa harusi. Hata ujalikuwa. Usha anda kuzema uta kuja. Usha anda kupanga utanda wapi ndi usikuja kwa harusi. Be healed. Mungu wata kubariki na wako. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be healed. Be healed. Pona. Be healed. A selfish spouse who always wants to be given attention. Mtu binafsi ambaye anataka kila wakati ye ni kuangaliwa. Ye ye tu, hawa bendo omega, ni ye kila kitu anataka, anataka tu. Hakingojeka watu wasiende kazini, wasiende wapi. Ye ye tu, wana asipe sana. Wale watu wana kujanga ukipika chapati, hawaweza kangojea zihishi, anataka kuchukua kwanza mmoja ya kule, azikufe. Azikufe maana na azangoja haka kufa. Zikitambo zisha takuwa mekufa. Attention seekers. Bwana zwe sana. It is not about you. The family is not about you peke yako. Kuna watoto, kuna mama, kuna mze. It is not about you. Sio tu wewe peke yake. Not about you. Sometimes unakosewa, watu wanakataa kuzema pole, na unajipea pole, na unaendelea. It's not about you. Nazima tukuja pale kukupigia magoti, kwani nini limefanyika, oh, tusame. Sometimes unakosewa na watu wanaenda. But it's not about you. It's not about you. Unawasaa, unawasame, familia yako ni bigger kuliko wewe. Your family is bigger than you. I say your family is bigger than you. I say my family yako ni kubwa kukuliko. It is bigger than you. Bwana zwe sana. Amen. Yeah, that's why sometimes. Na sababu wakati mungine. Unaona mze, watu ananuliwa nguo, viyatu, njini, kila kitu, na mze, anasema na wewe, anasema apana ile shati yangu, munioshe, munipigie pasi. 
It's not about you. It's about the family. Buenas fesan. Ya mwisho na yomu mesema bisho mna amalisi. A spouse who expects you to make them happy. No one will make you happy. You did not come to marriage to be made happy. Unataka saa yote, unasifiwa, saa yote, unafraishwa, saa yote, pizza, saa yote, chipsi, kuku, saa yote, I don't know what, na ukinyimwa kitu, ukikataswa, ya kuna amani, ya kuna kukalika, akulaliki pale, ya ni kwa sababu, everything is about you, eh, you want everybody to make you happy. Apana, hakuna mtu hameumba kukufanya uwe na furaha. Uwe tafuta furaha yako. Amen. Yeah. Kwani wale wasichana wale wa mama and single mothers, they are not happy. So I want you want to make to make, to make you happy. Sasa so ata mimi sasa ni kama mwanaume ndio kuwa happy. Kuwa na bibi ndio kuwa happy. Hapana. Amen. Do what makes you happy. Fanya kile ambacho kinakufanya furahia. Ni ku watch game. What's the game? Hata kama mmechapa. <laughs> what makes you happy? You know, uliza mama, mama Joy, sometimes wana piganga chai. Na mimi nasikia sahi imewekwa kwa mbeza sitaki chai. Na mana sitaki kwa sumbua. Na zunguka kitchen, naenda, ni nawasha ngasi. Nini nindadu na vanya nini? E, musijali. Nawasha ngasi. Nataka kukunyo turungi. Naweka turungi. Na, na jiwekea mimi yangu. Na kuja ni mebeba hapa kwa meza. Na kuja. Wana kunyo chai yako. Mimi, mimi na kunyo turungi yangu. Nasikia ra. Kuliko ni kunye chai na sitaki. Na sitaki tuwanzi kukosana. You know, wameambie mbona huku sema, oh, because I want them to be happy wa kunye chai yao, na mimi naweka tulungi yaku ndiyo ni, mana ndiyo inafuraisha na, na pika, ane na kunye, zota tunakua. So, stop looking for people to make you happy. You can make yourself happy. Mwana jifuraisha. At least, na hatha ukunyima pesa. But you can make yourself happy. Wana aswe sana. Na neno. Lita endelea. Ino wa mkonda ni kuombe baba katika jina la yesu. Nena kushukuru kwa sababu ya wapendo hawa. Na omba maneno ambao ni meongea kuhusu ndoa katika jina la yesu. Buwana yu maneno ikaweze kuhusu kuwa jiwe la kujenga familia silizo barikiwa familia ambazo siko na amani familia ambazo siko na Mungu familia ambazo sita create atmosphere na environment ya kuweza kulea watoto vizuri katika jina la Yesu naomba Bwana kwa zile familia ambazo zimekuwa na shida kwa hii kanisa kwa sababu ya kutolewa kwa sababu ya ujinga kwa sababu ya selfishness kwa sababu ya eh, mambo watu waliopitia kabla wajaolewa ama kuoa wakaifanya ikawa ikaleta shida katika familia zao baba ninaomba katika jina la Yesu uachilie neema katika hizo ndoa wakaweze kusuluhisha mashida ambazo wanapitia hili familia zao ba, ba katika jina la Yesu zikaweze kusimama i pray for every marriage in this church that is going through challenges in life. I pray that you release grace to live together. Grace to love one another. Grace to forbear and to forgive one another in the name of Jesus. Father, give them grace to have peace that they may be able to pray. Practice faith. Love one another. Be committed in the church. That the entire family. Be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit. Of scattering. Every spirit. Of offenses. Every spirit. Of strife. Conflict. Offenses. Offenses. Sent by the devil. Into their family. Today in the name of Jesus. Father I rebuke. That spirit. 
it. Out of their families. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. That the angels of peace. God. Come to their family. Take over in their family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us. How to speak. The language of peace. The language of love. The language of unity. The language of apology. The language of our apology. In the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us how to speak to our parents, to our husbands, to our wives. Teach us how to talk in our family. That we may post a peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. When God gives me time, I will speak about how to become a husband from being a man. Wamama wazizeme nile waonea. Wakati munga tanipea nafasi, nitanena kuhusu jinzi ya kufanyika mme kutokana na mwana mme. But next Sunday, sita kuwa na ubiri, tukuwa na wageni. So maybe ili ukonyumbele kidogo. Kwa hivyo, next Sunday kutakuwa na... Naomba tumutole buwana sandaka. Are you ready? Ya uko tayari kutuwa sandaka. Na fungu la kumi. Na fungu la kumi. Amen. Amen. Pasi naomba tukaweze kuwa tayari kumtolea bwana sandaka na fungu la kumi. Naomba nisaidiwe na baasa pia ya kuwaka fungu la kumi. Wewe ambao uko pale nyumbani na tusikiliza. Kuna nambali ziko pale la lipa na mpesa na kuna paybill number. Ukaweze kutumia na ukaweze kupata kutoa sandaka yako kwa bwana mm. wale mnatoa uh, pay bill kumbukeni after the ash waandike jina yako ama waandike kitu lazima waandike kitu hata kama ni k ama hata kama ni whatever ama ni kanisa ndio iweze kuenda basi wale ambao mko na fungu la kumi naomba mtembee hapa uko na fungu la kumi wewe ambao uko na fungu la kumi na unapenda kutoa kwa ibada tembee hapa Nikapokea fungu lako la kumi katika jina la Yesu. Naomba zote tukawezi kuingia kwa mfuko yetu tutoe sandaka mzuri. Simama na sandaka yako. Kama unatoa fungu la kumi tembea ni wewe tunaongea juu yako. Ni wewe ulibarikiwa sio sisi, ni wewe. Tembea ukuje kama unakuja. Usingojie watu ni wewe. Mungu alikuwa point, Mungu alikuonea kibali. Akakubariki wiki hii. So Uzisema utaleta fungu lako la kumi next Sunday. Leta kwa hii ibada. Inue juu hiyo fungu la kumi. Ama kama wanatua na simu, kuja usimame hapa na winuwa mkono juu. Ni ishara ya imani. Ni ishara ya imani. Inua juu. Sema buwana. Wewe ni mungu. Wewe ni mungu. Wa maangano. Na umesema. Katika angano lako. Niki kueshimu. Na fungu langu lakumi. Katika nyumba yako. Utafungua madirisha. Ya mbinguni. Na utamimina baraka. Baraka. Juhu ya maishi yangu, mbaga nikose maali, pakuweka baraka. Umeahidi pia, utakemea mwaribifu, asiaribu kazi ya mikono yangu. Sasa, ninatua hizi fungu la kumi, kulingano na neno lako. Naomba, ukatimize aadi lako katika maishi yangu. Kemea mwaribifu, asiaribu kazi ya maishi yangu. Asiaribu kasi ya mikono yangu Asiaribu mapato yangu Usiaribu usiana wangu na watu Mbawa nao nisaidia Kemea mwaribifu Asiaribu mali ya watoto wangu Asiaribu kasi ya mzee wangu Asiaribu mali ya nyumba yetu Kati kachina la yesu 
na utufungulie milango ya baraka katika familia yangu mpaka tukose mahali pa kuweka baraka katika jina la Yesu amen kila mtu atoe sandaka yake sasa tuweze kumtolea bwana kila mtu atoe sandaka ngojea ni tu kila mtu atoe sandaka yake simama kila mtu na sandaka yako sandaka mzuri nasali kutolewa Mungu amen najua uchumi ni mbaya lakini tukikosa kutoa tutakosa baraka we must apply the principle bwana asifiwe sana we must apply the principle even when things are bad lazima tukaweza kuweka kanuni hata kama mambo si mazuri unaweza kuwa uwezi ukatoa what you used to give but make sure that you give unaweza kuwa utoe make sure that you give your tithe don't eat your tithe maana mambo ni mabaya kisha kwamba umetoa fungu lako kwa sababu mambo ni mabaya. Hiyo ni kuharibu zaidi. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Tukufuka so mwana. even when things are bad, Amen. let us continue practicing the covenant principles and they will work for us. Hata kama mambo ni mabaya acha tuendelee kutimiza agano uh, 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 kwa sababu itafanya kazi kwa ajili yetu. Ninua hiyo sandaka sema Bwana Bwana ninakushukuru kwa kunibariki na sasa sasa ninakutolea hii sadaka kwa kukuheshimu maana umenibariki naomba sasa ukapokea hii sadaka na kipimo na kipimo na kukupimia kulingana na maandiko Bwana ikanirudie kama imesindiliwa imesuka sukwa kupitia kwa wanadamu nifungulie milango mikubwa ya baraka ya baraka nibarikiwe barikiwe maana nimekuheshimu nime na mali yangu, na mali yangu. Kwa, jina la yesu. kwa jina la yesu amen amen, amen. tembea hapa